Imagine a joint of these guys, written off, retired, and declared obsolete, now being eyed for a stunning comeback. The largest passengers jet ever built may not be finished after all. And not just any plane, the largest passengers aircraft ever built. This is a story of defiance, vision, and a joint dropping $20 billion bets by a single airline. Welcome to Aviation by Eddie, and today, we're watching the bold mission to rescue the mighty Airbus A380. 2021 Airbus delivers its final Airbus A380. We are delighted to receive our 60th A380 aircraft and look forward to many more of these outstanding aircrafts joining our fleet in the near future. Closing the chapter on the age of the Super Jumbo. For most airlines, that moment was a sigh of relief. The aircraft was too big, too expensive, and seemingly out of step with the future of aviation. But one airline saw something different, while others caught their losses, Emirates doubled down. Today, Emirates operates more than 100 Airbus A380s, more than all other airlines combined. And that's not just a flock. It's part of a strategy that rewriting what the Airbus A380 means for global aviation. And behind it all is one man, 13 Clock, Emirates President and Airbus A380 most relentless advocate. Tim Clark didn't just ask Airbus to fix a few things. He dropped a bombshell proposal on their desk. Let's build a brand new Airbus A380, a next generation version. The Airbus A380 Neo. I've got a design in front of the Airbus that shows how they could build a new one. One that's 25% cheaper to run, for more fuel efficient, Clark said in an interview with Executive Traveler. When Airbus came back with the estimated development cost, a whopping $20 billion, Clark's response was simple. If you build them, we will buy them. No hesitation, no counter, just commitment. But to understand why this matters, we need to understand why the original Airbus A380 fell. Albeit we made a video about that, but let's talk about it short. So why the first A380 flopped? When Airbus first unveiled the Airbus A380 in the early 2000s, it was a marble, double-decker, room for over 850 passengers, a flying palace. But it had four massive problems. 1. It was heavy, maximum takeoff weight over 1.2 million pounds. 2. It was thirsty, four gasoline engines from the 90s. And 3. It was too big for most airports. Its 80 meters wingspan limited what it could land. And fourth one, aviation was shifting. Twin engine efficiency was winning, faster, cheaper, and more flexible. So the result? A masterpiece of engineering that simply didn't make economic sense. But that was then. Fast forward 20 years, aviation has changed a lot. Back when the Airbus A380 was designed, composite materials were cutting edge, barely tested in commercial aviation. But today, planes like the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787 use carbon fiber reinforced polymers for over 50% of their structure. They are stronger, lighter, and resist fatigue like nothing before. That's the core of Clark's vision. A redesigned Airbus A380, the new, with one smaller vertical stabilizer for reduced drag, two aerodynamically improved wings, three folding wingtips like the 777X, and fourth one, extensive use of composite throughout the A-frames. All of it aimed at cutting weight and boosting efficiency. But the real game changer? the engines. Why don't we see many full engines aircraft anymore? Simple fuel economics. The original Airbus A380 ran an engines built with the 1990s tech. 
the Rolls-Royce Train 900 or the GP7000 from the Engine Alliance. They were powerful but inefficient by today's standards. And to the Rolls-Royce Ultra Fan, a jet engine that's not just an upgrade, it's a you're imagining. This is a revolution in power, Clark said. And he's not exaggerating. 140 inch fan diameter, one of the biggest ever built. Composite blades, lighter and stronger. Geared turbo fan design optimize each stage of the engine. 100% SAF compatible, sustainable aviation fuel, zero compromise. And a variable pitch fan system for top performance at all flight phases. Ultra fan promises 20 to 25% fuel saving over the current Airbus A380 engines, combined with the redesigned A-frame. We're talking efficiency that rivals twin-engine jets, but with way more seats. Let's talk about the passenger's experience factor. Here is a something every frequent flyer knows. People love the Airbus A380. And it's not just sentiment, it's space, pure, luxurious space, with over 550 cubic meters of cabin volume, the Airbus A380 offers private first-class suits, in-flight lounge and balls, showers, spas at 40,000 feet, and a whisper quite right thanks to its mass and altitude stability. In the post-COVID world, people care more about space, privacy and comfort than ever before. And Emirates has mastered this. Their Airbus A380s don't just transport passengers, they sell an experience. That's why people go out of their way to fly them. And that's why Emirates still sees a future. Let's talk dollars. The original Airbus A380 struggled because its unit economics were brutal. The last model sold for $445 million each and you needed to pack them full every time to make them viable. But Emirates made it work. In 2023, they flew more than 100 daily Airbus A380 flights to over 40 destinations. Their high-density two-class layout fits up to 615 passengers, helping them hit competitive seats my cost. Now imagine, 25 percent less fuel, lower maintenance from composite structures, folding wings for more airport flexibility, premium pricing from unmatched passengers experience. Suddenly, the mass starts to roll, especially for high-density international routes. Here is what most people forget. Emirates is already all-in. They've invested in Airbus a 3 t specific hangars, stockpiles of small parts, flight simulator, training programs, and airport gates built just for their aircraft. They can't pivot easily, so the smartest move? Make the Airbus A380 future proof. But does the world still need it? Here is the big question. Do we still need an aircraft? This massive aviation has trended towards smaller planes flying more often, more flexible, less risky. But that model is hitting a wall. Major airports like Heathrow, JF Kennedy and Narita are slot constrained. No more rooms to air flights. The only way to grow? Fly bigger planes. And on these ultra-high demand routes, a modernized Airbus A380 could be exactly what's needed. Let's flip the script. Could a bigger plane actually be greener? The answer, yes, under the right conditions. A fully loaded Airbus A380 new with the cutting edge engines and sustainable fuel could match or even beat the passage emissions of smaller jets. Fewer flights, more passengers moved per trip, less congestion. And with the ultrafan SAF compatibility and potential upgrades like electric taxing, more efficient APUs, lighter cabin materials, and advanced winglets, the environmental case starts looking surprisingly strong. So, why isn't Airbus building it yet? Because restarting the Airbus A380 isn't flipping a switch. The production line is gone, engineering teams are reassigned. Suppliers have moved on. Certification would need a full reset. 
That's why Airbus estimates 15 to 20 billion euros just to restart the program. They needed multiple launch customers, not just Emirates. And here is the rub. Airlines like Lufthansa, Qantas, British Airways, they're either parked or retired Airbus authorities for good. So, unless Emirates convinces others to join the party, the new might stay a dream. Here is the surprising twist. It's not impossible. Passengers' demand is rising, especially in Asia, Middle East, and Africa. Airport congestion is worse than ever. Ultrafan keeps hitting test milestones. Emirates remains 100% committed. And the premium travel market is booming again. So, while the odds may seem slim, the conditions are quietly aligning. And remember, a vision has always been built by people who refuse to listen to no. The Wright brothers, Boeing and the 747, Airbus and the original Airbus A380, and now maybe Tim Clark will join that list. His offer still stands. If you build them, we will buy them. So, what do you think? Should Airbus bring back the Airbus A380 for a new generation? Or should these gentle giants stay grounded in the past? Let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell.